who's gonna 6 H first? Who's gonna get counter hit by 6 H first? And then who's gonna back the Eshion start? One of them is gonna do it. Back dash or two S. That, those are the only two options. Oh, <laughs> I was right about one of them. <laughs> Uh, too close, the second of the stun dipper uh, didn't connect. GG. First. I don't know why he T-Versed, he had a lead already. Plus. Didn't react. Gonna have to hold this more pressure. Six P doesn't want to be there. He's out of there. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. That's fast play. The only foulest player on the planet. Oh, awesome. All right. Hello, everyone. This is, an, uh, this is a new uh, voice coming in. Uh, my name is Sushi, and I'm here to commentate Guilty Gear Strive for you guys. Tonks taking the first game, you know, very... Uh, Kai and Mirror matchup is a very interesting one because you can always see like either two different ones, two different Kai's, or always the same Kai playing against each other, and always have a very interesting experience. G Tech just cornering Tonks right now. Oh, whiffing the dust, but pretty safe off of it. G Tech uh, getting the advantage on stage, you know, pushing Tonks all the way back to the corner, but Tonks slowly coming back for it. But you know. Getting the positional advantage. Oh, and the counter. You know, and this is a round four G-Tech. You know, the Chimera matchup is actually very interesting, but you know, you always see different ones. Two different players playing the same character in two different styles, you know. It's a very interesting uh, way of doing things. Tonks at advantage uh, right now, pushing uh, G-Tech to the corner. They're both playing the very good spacing game. Oh, and then RC. Will this be into wall break? And it is. No, this is just uh, game two, but you know, if Tonks lose and the burst. Phenomenal burst, getting, getting G-Tech just away. Ooh, Tonks is at a very scary situation. Ooh, RCing the throw, the whiff throw, and getting an actual throw after, off of that. Setting up. Nice FD from G-Tech, but that will be the game. Tonks and G-Tech both down around. Tonks at uh, at set point. You know, it's very interesting uh, how these players are playing. You know, there's one very rushed down, one that's playing very passive, but using very basic bread and butter combos. And it's very entertaining to watch. But Tonks all the way at the corner, but finally getting that counter hit that he needs. Blocking the DP and catching G-Tech using an RC. Dust, oh, he drops the combo that he was trying to go for. You know, personally, I've gone against Tonks and, you know, his his guy is very interesting. Ooh, super off of a 6P, very interesting. These FDs, very, very good. Ooh, setting up, G-Tech saying Tonks back up into the corner. Very, very good approach, actually. Ooh, not getting the burst, but ooh. Phenomenal second game from Tonks, you know, bringing back like both the rounds and just positioning in overall. Very interesting, very, very entertaining actually watching all of this. You know, no character switch and still going back to Kai, you know. Very phenomenal burst and getting the positioning back into his, back into G Tech's hands. Very, 
very well played. Tonk's playing very aggressive right now. He, he's just trying to keep him away. But repositioning uh, g tag you know, just trying to fight per, for position right now. You know, first one to push him to the corner. And it looks like g tag is in a very negative situation right now. He does have one meter and Tonks just used his burst. And is this gonna be a kill? And that is, that is gonna be uh, onto set point actually. Very interesting approach. But you know, you take those and you always run with them. No, it's style, I agree. g tech gotta bring this shit back. But, you know, Tonks. Ooh, baiting out the burst off of that. g tech had a very severe. Ooh, getting the dust. And does this. No, it does not kill, but g tech does have one meter. Ooh. And that takes the round. And, you know, very good games, you know. Be very, very good playing from from both sides, you know. Very interesting watching the mirror matchup, but, you know, at least both players played really well, played, played to their hardest, and, you know, at the end of the day, don't worry, it's a double elimination bracket. We got one, they got one, at least G-Tech has one more chance, and